Welcome back to another episode of Toy Pizza. We asked you guys, what's the most controversial toy that you've come across? But before we get to that, we're going to kick it off with some news. Oh, yeah. Okay. Quick disclaimer, today's episode contains graphic language, graphic images, some nudity, talks of e-pens, and drug use? No, no drug use. Yeah. Uh, if you, Don't do drugs, kids. If you're under 18, we advise against watching this or yeah. getting your parents' permission. Let them watch it first. Uh, it's not really up to us. I don't have any yeah. kids. I, mean, I, I don't care what you do, really. Yeah, you should totally watch it, but just you know, just be warned that we did cuss a sh ton. I cleaned it up as best as I could, and we're going to show you what we want to show you. So, Awesome. So now we have four really solid pieces of news this week. Uh, the first one is just so crazy to me, and it kind of ties in with the uh, topic of the week, which is most controversial. Mm -hmm. uh, so check this out. Toys R Us pulling Ugh. Breaking Bad toys off the shelf. They've got a petition going over 9,000 signatures already. So they reached their goal, and Toys R Us is proceeding with removing really? them from the... Yes, oh, and I could talk about this for the whole episode if we want to. Let's do it. I think to. it's Please a good don't. idea. I think okay. it's a good idea. Let's talk about the whole episode. Well, look, uh, there's a couple things to point out here. One, this is the greatest free promotion Mezco will ever get. Yes. Uh, I'm sure they're... Their, you know, dot com is flooded with orders right now for the Breaking Bad line. Yeah. This is arguably one of the best things that could happen for them. AMC may not look at it this way, but from the toy company's perspective, you can't pay for this kind of ink. Second of all, the mother who was outraged in question is from Florida. Uh, and as go a, figure. As a former resident of mm -hmm. Florida, yep, same. Uh, I can only say... The real tragedy is that you live in Florida. Can I just read the quote? This is what upset oh, yeah, me sure. the most. Okay, so uh, on the, the site for um, where they got all these uh, e-signatures. Uh, <laughs> People smoking e-cigs, yeah. typing e-signatures. Parents and grandparents around the world shop at Toys R Us online and in stories. I don't know why they wrote stories. With their children and should not be forced to explain why a certain toy comes with a bag of highly dangerous and illegal drugs and why someone who sells these drugs deserves to be made into an action figure. Well, so stupid. It's, oh, it's not our fault you don't want to talk to your ugly kid. Yeah, yeah. so um, stupid. Just like, what kind of kid's like, mommy, mommy, what's this? Like, oh, now I have to explain Now I have you. to smoke meth with my kid yeah. to teach him a lesson. Oh, uh, well, basically, it's this guy named Walter White and give him the full synopsis of, you know, Breaking Bad. It, it, it's dumb. Well, um, it, it is... It's very dumb, and and the reality is, I don't think Toys R Us can afford to lose the collector aisle. Right? You no, know, they cannot. Uh, NECA and and companies like Mezco have an entire section of the store mm -hmm. that is well stocked. I I'm sure it is one of the only growing segments of Toys R Us because the toy real estate is constantly losing square footage to video games and right. electronic toys. So uh, it, the reality is, I don't think uh, Toys R Us can sort of still be in business and not be catering to the collector toy dollar. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I think it's it's so silly because you could just say, why doesn't Toys R Us just stop carrying GTA? You know, it's like yeah. you can do much worse things in that video game. It's yeah. all about the parent who's actually making the purchase. So Exactly. And how silly. do the kids even get the Toys R Us? You're taking them there. They could ride a bike. I mean, and well, not a, in Florida, not in the summer. And they could ride a bike to the online stories or a meth lab van. I mean, the, right. the, the bigger the online stories. The bigger problem is really the the gators that are getting loose from the canals yeah. and in uh, the Toys R Us parking lot. That's a bigger danger. How dare they make a gator action figure? Now I have to explain to my grandparents why is a gator, you know, being so praised <laughs> to your grandparents? Yeah, to my grandparents and then my grandkids. Um, Sorry. Okay, let us know in the comments what you think about all this uh, Breaking Bad Toys R Us drama. Uh, kind of crazy. Moving on to number two, Micro Fear Kickstarter, which is ending November 15th, so very soon. That's right. But you need to check it out. We actually um, got our hands on some of the little uh, mini... Uh, oh, what, yeah. What do you call right. these things? I would say, like, display scenes, from like, your key you horror scenes. So this uh, Kickstarter is uh, ending soon. I believe they have already met their goal, but there's these three oh, pin nice. 3D printed... Uh, classic horror scenes. Yeah, they're kind of like, it's kind of a mix between gaming miniatures and dioramas, you know? Yeah, yeah. like Warhammer almost. Yeah. What's cool about these, though, you can get them pre-built, like Jesse has right mm -hmm. there with the pendulum, um, or you can they can come together like a little model. So you have a little bag of sand here, um, oh. got the base, and you can put it together yourself, which I don't want to do, honestly. I want the final product. But, you know, I'm sure some people are into building. So. Uh, it's even signed and numbered on the bottom. That's really cool. 
Really, I just wanted this, the bag of sand, right? Yeah. That's what. I, I, where else can I get sand besides you back know, at Kickstarter? I don't want to explain to my kids why there's a little <laughs> bag of sand, or what what this is a Bigfoot. I don't want to have the big the crypto you know zoological conversation with my kids. Yeah, honestly, the Bigfoot one is my favorite. Very controversial. I don't know. This pit in the pendulum is awesome. Look, yeah. I mean, the the artisans behind this clearly are experts at painting on a small scale oh, yeah, I mean, this sure. is just yes. incredible detail here i'll trade you yeah. okay awesome yeah and so each scene um is hand painted and hand assembled depending on what you uh decide to uh support them with how much money you want to give but it, there's six scenes there's the mummy bigfoot the nanny uh what are the other ones uh house uh, of the psycho sociopath, sociopath and the pit in the pendulum and spook shack yeah um spook you. look layla it's a momo <laughs> Um, I don't get it, but they've reached their goal of three thousand uh, dollars, so obviously it's funded. Um, but by the time this airs, they could be in million dollar territory. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably I mean, not. Okay. Well, I definitely like to see them uh, hit more uh, more horror scenes. I mean, if they do continue to do uh, this line, I know the the guy behind it. He just is a big fan of horror. Yeah, I mean, they could do. They I could easily see a little diorama of the horror of trying to film an episode of Toy Pizza. Mm. Okay, you know, there's a lot of blood splatter yeah and... the, the horror of uh, having to explain to your kid uh what <laughs> drugs are yeah yeah so that would what... be a great one what yeah. we need a micro oh scene God. of a kid at toys r us, <laughs> us. pointing to a, do a toy aisle <laughs> and then the mom being like and no, an no, outraged no. florida mom and then her an additional set of her going onto uh the computer and getting e-cigs oh, oh there's little look at this there's yeah there's a little card with like info which is pretty sweet yeah that's great uh I... but they have to do generic stuff right like Dracula and Wolfman, they they can't really do... Well, I oh, like license stuff? Yeah. yeah like, I think that's the next step for them, and I would be more than happy as a registered licensing agent to uh, help, help broker those deals. To help you uh, sign that bubble. It's signed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's signed yeah on the bottom, yeah. So look for these in our eBay store uh, <laughs> momentarily. No, just kidding. Yeah, if you look, want them early. Uh, look, we, uh, we love to support independent toy projects. This is a great one. I'm so happy these guys got funded, and let's see if we can't uh, go above and beyond the goal. Uh, speaking of bad, um, not bad, uh, speaking of independent toy uh, projects, mm -hmm. we have here Cheese Troya. Uh, from Bad Teeth it. Comics. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little Sofubi. Yeah. Uh, he's got, he got a little mm -hmm. banged up in, in transit, but mm -hmm. this is uh, this is awesome. A, a super fan of ours, mm -hmm. Glenn Manders, uh, oh, dropped awesome. us an email. He said, hey, would you like to take a peek at my cheese Stroya? Um, I had seen it on Kickstarter a couple months back in mm -hmm. which they got fully funded. Right. And I love it. I mean, it is a kaiju mixed with a cheeseburger. It's, yeah, it's nice. Truthfully, this seems like a villain that the uh, Knights of the Slice would fight. <laughs> that is actually, I mean, that's actually really sick. It's pretty brilliant, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, first of all, I mean, the the head, you know, of Chistroya, it, you know, has teeth all around that looks like, you know, the burger part. It just reminds me of um, one of the McDonald's fast food toys. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, or that, um, that jail cell. The jail cell, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> At McDonald's playgrounds the in the 80s. Yeah. Like ball pit and then like that. a cheeseburger jail cell. I got handcuffed I think in there. You guys are too old. Yes. Uh, okay. But no, this is definitely awesome. It's a you know classic stuff, Fubi, and I love that it's hand painted. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it's it's a great mold. Yeah. I love the skull in the, in the middle. And we got these cool yeah, uh, sure. yeah. little ash can comics that mm -hmm. they sent along too. Yeah. Um, this one in particular shows like every step. In... I know. I love it in the back. Um, just like the process, which is sweet. Yeah, it shows every so cool. step in the production by. Uh, Very cool by the sculptor Double Haunt. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get these on their web store, Bad Teeth yeah. Comics. What I like about this though, his head moves and his hips, right? Yeah. You know, in typical like Sofubi, it's like very, very minimal. I Just the like. limbs. And even the back shell kind of twists a little bit. And um, if you if you look in the uh, little comic book, the hips don't lie. Yeah, you're right actually right there. In I, don't, I don't have that comic. Page six. No, this is definitely something really cool to offer in addition yeah. to mm -hmm. uh, Action figure. Yeah. I really like that. Cool beans. Oh, and uh, I I also saw on their site they have a five flavor uh, color variant, which is kind of clear and it's got rainbow colors. Really, really gorgeous. I and mean, are they looking at a picture of it right now? I bet they are. Right on <laughs> screen. <laughs> uh, last bit of news, which is technically not confirmed by Hasbro yet, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. rumors have it that there's going to be a G.I. Joe Black Series 6 inch. Similar to the Star Wars one. Yes. Yeah. Um... I'm not a fan of G.I. Joe, so it doesn't strike me as, oh my gosh, I want it, but you, 
Sure. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Uh, you, take it with a grain of salt. Who knows by the time this airs, maybe it will have come out to be true. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, uh, Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con 15 is when they're going to launch Snake Eyes and Timber. This is a mixed bag for me. You know, Hasbro really has not done anything with the G.I. Joe brand in the past couple of years. And not even with the movies? Even with the movies. Now, uh, you know, flashback to when they were doing this sort of retro carded re-releases yeah, of yeah. the three and three quarter inch figures. G.I. Joe, for the first time ever, was outselling Star Wars. It was uh, an incredible what? sort of momentum they had. And then right after that, the first movie came out. And it wasn't really a military movie. It was more sci-fi. They changed the positioning of the brand in the store aisles, and it sort of never got back to that level of sales uh, or, you know, just the G.I. Joeiness. It, it went from G.I. Joe to G. I don't know. Or G. I don't. <laughs> G. I don't. G. I don't. Um, so I, it's it's a mixed bag for me. I I wish there was a bigger focus on G.I. Joe. I think that there is uh, there's a vibrant fan base there that's not really being serviced. But but for that scale, is that like new for GI Joe? I mean, yeah, this would be the first time uh, it would be in this scale. Um, I'd be all for it. I, I definitely uh, think that the classic thing about GI Joe is, is that it's uh, you know the scale, you know, like the, the three and three quarters. Sure. So I I would definitely you know welcome a five incher, you know, but that that's awesome. Well, let's go with six inches. All right, six inches it is. Great. Awesome. Well, that's that's all the news this week. So uh, let's roll on to the topic of the week. Let's reheat some cold pizza. Controversial toys. We love controversy here at Toy Pizza. We sure do. We are we are three very controversial guys. Mm -hmm. From Nikki's uh, pants tightness mm -hmm. okay. to my selective dieting. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. To Cade's excessive use of hair gel. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, these are all. The, uh, this is ripe with controversial. controversial. Now, they, we've been featured on Crack.com as well as these toys that we are about to mention. We've been featured on Crack? No, yeah, no, from our haven't. controversy. That is, that's not true. That's controversial because okay. it's a mislabeling. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's false advertising. Okay. Uh, so, so what, actually, what um, you know constitutes as a controversial toy? Too uh, sexy? I not think, enough uh, sexy? I, you know, I know it when I see it. Mm -hmm. um, I think, yeah, it's, if something is inadvertently sexual. Or, or offensive. Or phallic. overtly sexual. Or overly phallic. Uh -huh. Sure. Um, <laughs> or just offensive. It, or phallic. Matter. This is you in phallic. Oh my gosh! Well, I'm sorry. But All you want to talk about is penis. That, that's not true. Sometimes but... a cigar is just a cigar. No, okay. it could be racial. Sure. It could be uh, risque. Risque. It could be sexual. Yep. It could be all bad boy stuff. All transgender stuff. Transgender is not a, a bestiality stuff. Oh, bestiality Any, stuff. Okay. Anything offensive. Look, let's keep your diary out of this program, okay? <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Those um, are your sick fantasies. I'm um, just saying, it's not all about. The I don't well, think we can say that word. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, Dick Tracy. <laughs> That's what I said. It's not all about dicks. Tracy. So uh, there's there's two things here. One, uh, there's been a couple great articles about controversial toys. You can check out Topless Robot or Crack.com. They've done a really good job of, uh, you know, covering things that have come up before. Mm -hmm. We have three things we'd like to enter into the lexicon of controversial toys. Sure. Uh, but before we do that, we'll go back and recap some of the ones that people may already know about. Yeah, so thanks for doing research for us. Oh, you're totally welcome. <laughs> not you. Um, it's not as if I'm not working two full-time jobs on top of this. Tool full-times. <laughs> tool um, full-times. Tool full-times. Full full I work on tool time. I didn't tell you. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. um, so first and foremost is Shapeshifter Punisher. So this is very interesting. He turned into a gun. He turned into a gun. But you could kind of get mid-transformation, uh -huh. and that gives you this beautiful... Well, okay, so I understand that, but what is the, the tip there? That the that's, gun? A, that's the missile. That's a firing missile. Yeah. Mm. That's... His <laughs> is the gun. <laughs> you gotta bleep that out. Okay, fine. <laughs> gotta keep it clean. Okay. Um, I think the most disturbing part of this is his really angered look, though. Sure. This is a... <laughs> This is an He's, erection that hurts. Yeah. Well, he is the Punisher. He's like, they kill my family. I want revenge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kids, if you're uh, <laughs> under 18, you may want to tune out now because it's going to get graphic. It's going to get graphic. There are going to be Florida moms everywhere protesting this show. <laughs> yeah, if you want to uh, get those e-cigs out, you know, and start uh, <laughs> signing away. And, you know, keeping things in the sort of uh, phallic and risque zone. Actually, all of these are. Uh, <laughs> exactly. That's what I was trying to get at earlier. Next up. That's what I was getting at earlier. Are you kidding me? All these toys are. Uh, next up is the Mego Pocket Superhero. So Mego did 8-inch real cloth yeah. uh, dollies. 
but they also started to do some uh, smaller scale figures, which are about three to four inches tall. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, for some godforsaken reason, they sculpted the majority of the characters with their hands in this position, right over their crotch. Well, there's got to be a reason that they did that. They're playing that game. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah you punches. look down, you get punched. Yeah. No, what? Why? What were they supposed to hold? Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> no, what were they supposed to hold? Not some of them had accessories, like Batman had a batarang with okay. a little lasso, but some of them didn't have accessories, and there's no reason. They just kept the arm skull. They just kept. So that. you're just saying he didn't need to have a bent. It elbow. looks like he's, you know, he's stopping at a rest station and just trying to get a little relief. Before uh, hopping back on the road. Okay. All right. Well, so that kind of ties into the weird Tarzan toy. Yeah. So, so, so <laughs> now, you know, moving forward with time, you know, not only can you have a scope, you can actually have them move their arm. Technology. Yeah. Right. Advances. So we finally developed the the mechanism to give a toy the ability to J.O. And the first toy we need to see that happen to is... Tarzan. Yeah. Rad repeating Tarzan. I don't know what the action is that he's rad repeating, but it is uncouth. <laughs> How do they skip that? Like, rad repeating, he's going to move his arm up and down, and it's going to be right over his crotch. And he makes grunt noises. Yes. No, and, he doesn't. No, he yes. does the Tarzan, like, roar that he's so, like, famous for. I love the, yeah. on the box, try me. Do not try me. Yeah. Try no, me. no, try me. Yeah, That's so, a bad stranger. I mean, we're not going to show it here, but be my guest. Check it out on YouTube. Just <laughs> yeah. look at videos of this yeah. toy. It will disturb you. Oh, I don't know what they're thinking. So let's move away from the guys. Yeah, let's get away from all this, uh, you know, gross sexualized you stuff. And, and move on to... Uh, Lena Headey? Lena Headey. Who? Uh, Headey. Okay. Who, or maybe it is Headley. I don't know. Headley? Headey. How are they? Who cares? How are they? Seriously? Queen Gorgo oh. from 300, mm -hmm. made by NECA. This is a few years ago. Uh, I believe this is one of the first American toys mm -hmm. to not only have fully sculpted breasts, mm -hmm. but also nipples. Really? And painted nipples. Yes. So they were hidden under her garment. Mm -hmm. You really would have to be a pervert like me mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. move the garment and see this. But there they were, fully painted breasts. On great. an action figure, you can get, or could have gotten, a Toys R Us. Mm. At and, Toys R Us. And no one signed a petition for that. No one signed... I think it f really flew under the radar. Nobody really uh, knew it was under there. Yeah. Well, that that's certainly, you know, very sexy. I mean... No, that's definitely that's horrible. I why mean, would you... I'm sorry. Why would you I'm, be so reductive like, to women and their strife? It's the movie, 300. I never saw it. But that was actually a very positive female character. If you oh, think that's about awesome. It. All right. All right. All well. right. So those are the four that you know have been mentioned before in previous lists and stuff like that. Sure. So today we're going to share with you some of the toys that we personally own uh, that you know could be on this list very well. Yeah. I know we've got three new additions. Well, they're not new, but you know, new old edition for yeah. you. Right? So I would like to offer to the toy community that we enter into the analogs of controversial toy history the following three toys. Let's do it. First of which we've we, already covered. We have covered. Medicine Sans Fanti. Finally, in uh, person and on the couch. Live in the studio. Live in the studio. So, oh, boy. Uh, you know, it is an emaciated, starving African. There you have it. Um, but when we first featured this toy on... What episode was that? Anyway? I don't know, but it was very controversial. What was the topic? I don't remember, but... Uh, it, yeah. was, uh, it was It was a new segment like, yeah, recently found. Yeah, something we found, yeah. yeah. I have no idea what episode it was, but... Oh, we'll it was... What? Before Comic-Con, because it would say, go to Comic-Con, right. uh -huh. and, you know, uh, maybe you see someone that's French. Uh, we'll oh, put whatever. a link yeah. in the description in any case. So, uh, I found this on uh, eBay. France's eBay okay. and ordered it. We yeah. got it here, mm -hmm. we put it on the show, and really, we didn't think very positive of it. You know, no. we were like, this is a horrible racial stereotype. I can't believe it, I feel bad about right. purchasing it, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Lo and behold, our awesome viewers... Left us some comments, uh -huh. gave us a little education about the line. They schooled us. That's yeah. right. Doctors without borders. So, by buying this toy back in the day, you actually were uh, sponsoring a vaccine right. for somebody in a yeah, developing country. Supporting a good cause by doing so. Right. So, we are the assholes here. Right. For <laughs> judging. <laughs> That's right. We, you know, we sort of saw this as a negative when actually the idea behind this toy line was really great. I believe the term, I mean, the phrase is uh, pardon our French. Pardon our French. <laughs> we didn't know. So, do you still think, uh, believe that this should be on a controversial toy list? I still do. Um, 
just for the sort of sculpt alone, this is it's still disturbing. Yeah, to me. he yeah. didn't have to be, you know, African. He could have just, he could have been any emaciated boy. Sure, sure, yeah. So I guess that's definitely uh, crossing the lines of uh, racism. I I yeah. suppose though, if it was an American that was in medical need, it would be an obese one, not a <laughs> emaciated one, right? Politics, politics. That's right. Okay, so I mean, he comes with a, a stretcher, a stretcher, and uh, was that a pillow? I think that's a, a water bladder, a canteen right? thing. Yeah, or it's a for an enema. I yeah, guess. I, I can see I, that. Yeah. Wouldn't. Or the croissant. <laughs> it might be a croissant. <laughs> but does it have a... Oh, here's the whole set here. Yeah. So the rest of them are just actually the medical staff, and this is the only, like, I guess, patient. Pierre, Yeah, Abdu. but all the staff are white. Yeah. Also. So maybe we weren't that far off well, the mark. Yeah. Melissa. Yeah, so these were made in the... Samba. In the late 80s, 1988. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... I, uh... I think this is a contender, and it should be on these future lists. Sure. Definitely worth uh, knowing about, I would say. You know, it's definitely a historical piece of toy uh, controversy. Let's hope he gets better. Back in the package he goes. Okay. So up next, what do we have over here? Well, uh, I remember very fondly Devilman, especially Feuder's uh, action figures. I have no idea what this is. Can you give us a little background? Well, Certainly. Devilman was an anime, I want to say. Mm -hmm. but I only saw and the... a manga. Yeah, I only saw the movie. And honestly, I watched that at too young of an age, and it kind of warped me because it was very graphic. Like, literally, like, this monster literally lifts up a child and just eats her. And I was just like, oh, my God. That's, like, very, like, scary. But there's a lot of nudity in the movie, and uh, then there's this character. Yeah, I think Devil Man was kind of most uh, people our age's first exposure to nudity through anime or manga. Mm. Um, they are not shy about bearing a breast or two. Um, the... The reason this is controversial is not only is she fully nude, yep. but this was readily available at most import and comic book stores in the 90s, and um, it is anatomically correct. And, oh, well, uh, can we show it? I don't know how that works. I, I actually did some B-roll with post-it notes over her. Okay, uh, so that's, that's good. We can show that safe B-roll. And blur, maybe? Yeah, so Ooh, literally blur. she has milk, milk, and lemonade. Uh, yes, however, Nikki, that is very immature, and around, <laughs> and around the corner, fudge is made. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, so uh, that's very interesting to have that sculpt, because I know even just uh, working with, uh, say, the Bravest Warriors, you had to submit them with uh, undergarments. Yeah. yeah. Right, like, like underwear. Like, yeah. Developing the, the toys, yeah, yeah, even if they're going to have cloth clothing later on. We like to keep it very PG. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I, I did actually buy this more for the container Kate, it's so cool. that so lights sick. up. Comes yeah. with the light, yeah. Um, so cool. It's really cool. So this is the character Miko as she's possessed by the demon Tolg. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to shade you guys from the nudity as much as I can while I look at it. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, Devilman is awesome. I, I It's, again, one of those great properties I know very little about, but it looks so amazing. It's like, I'm a fan. I just The color not... combination is just great. Like, you know, having a... I think, believe it is Devil Man, who's purple. Uh, I've seen him in purple and blue. God, we know so little about Devil Man. This is a, you know, this is, is a great opportunity for our fans to, to further in, yeah. educate us. Yeah, let um, us know. Let us know in the comments. Uh, let us know about Devil Man and what's your favorite naked female <laughs> toy? No, I'm just kidding. We want to know. How much is it going for? Yeah. Uh, so that's two great solid entries. What's the third? Well, this one may be a stretch for some people. But I was convinced in my youth I had found out a controversial toy no one else had. Oh, so this is from your youth? This is from my youth. And you discovered that it was controversial when you were younger? That's correct. Oh, that's amazing. Right? I didn't know that part of the story. So... I thought you were literally playing with it yesterday and like, huh. No. Um, <laughs> I, I think, uh, yeah. I, I, this I don't think needs to be bleeped out, but you know we'll we'll find out. We'll no, well maybe the text will bleep out. Okay, of course. Just the uh, you know the I will yeah. do an asterisk. Yeah. So to give a little background story, yes. uh, sound engineers can play wonderful tricks on people. Okay. You know when you're programming a toy, you can have every millionth press of the button say anything you want. You know you can program these so. It may have five phrases, but there can be one secret Easter egg phrase mm -hmm. that is never uttered for years and years and years. And, uh, you know, it really just depends on how bored and irate of a sound engineer you are <laughs> sure, yeah. on the assembly line. So what do we have here? So this is uh, from Rusty and Big Guy, which was created by Frank Miller and Jeff Darrow. 
It was a cartoon that was between, I believe, CVS and Dark Horse. Um, it didn't last for very long, but the design is awesome. I mean, it's a yeah, great it's really cool. action well, figure. I love anything yeah. white and blue. Yeah, it's got a nice sort of Art Deco Yeah, he's a great uh, robot. Mm -hmm. um, and it is controversial, and not just because the blaster on his hand kind of looks like a penis. Definitely. See that? Yeah, it does. Everything looks like a penis to me nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's not the reason why it's controversial. Mm -hmm. I believe I have found, and you guys weigh in at home if you think this makes sense or not, I believe I found a secret sequence mm -hmm. that gives us a very risque message. Well, let's hear the messages he has to say first. Sure. So uh, I think there's four different phrases. For the love of Mike. For the love of Mike. Mm-hmm. This is serious business. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, so far. Yeah. Nothing yeah. controversial. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Candy gram. Candy gram. What is that? Why does he say candy gram? I think that was like one of his catchphrases, like Tick had spoon. You know, it was uh, his, okay. It's clobbering time. Yeah. Was, that was his... Uh, it's just weird. It doesn't work quite as nice. No, no. But um, if you start to press the button in rapid succession, you get a secret, secret message. message. <laughs> okay, that's enough. We're good. We're good. Do you hear it? Tell me you hear it. <laughs> so was, what do you think? I was going to say the first, he, Jesse revealed this to us, and I was like, that's a stretch. Yeah. But the second time around, I think I hear it. Uh, he's, I, he could say, this is working, this is bushing. So, yeah, in rapid succession, it sounds like, you know, from the line he says... This is serious business. It sounds like he's saying this is BS. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But not the acronym, of course. Let me try. How do you do it? You just. Yep. Well, it's interesting. <laughs> this is fire in the hole. <laughs> this is fire. In the... Well, it's, it's interesting that he does default to this is. Yeah. He gets out the two words. Right. So I feel like there's something thoughtful about. This. Yeah, because he does get the whole. The this full... is. He right. gets the yeah. whole. This is, and then he immediately goes to the other phrase. Yeah. So it's got to be because. Otherwise, he would just reset to some other phrase, but he's always resetting to this is, this is. Should we? Yeah. Let's make a whole entire video of that looping. Can we get, like, a a uh, Skrillex remix? <laughs> sure, yes. No, I, I, you know, I think Jesse's onto something, because otherwise, it would just, like, go can, can, candy, grip, can, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. But he, they like this de can, deliberately, this, yeah. yeah, they deliberately it went to this. this is, they get both of that, yeah, this is. and then they skip to two different lines, right? Right. This is serious business, guys. Yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 it's definitely up there. I, I can definitely see an outraged mother <laughs> hearing that, like, this from what state? Yeah. Well, from Florida. Florida. Okay. Hearing that from down the hallway and being like, "What is that sound?" And be like, "Jimmy, what are you saying?" And it's like, "Nothing. It's my." Jimmy ran away, mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, outside of that, though, this is a very cool toy, and yeah. it's kind of a predecessor to Titanfall. Look at that. Oh. There's a little pilot in there. So I, he's are they, the one saying it. Are they going to make uh, Titanfall toys? You know, I uh, don't know. I don't think so. Well, But if they do, we'll cover it here on Toy <laughs> Pizza. Hopefully. Um, so, look, it's a little bit of a stretch. You guys let us know in the comments. Do you think this is a controversial toy, or yeah. are we just imagining things and hearing more voices than normal? It's certainly a stretch, but at least it's not a stretcher. Am I right? Yeah. That's oh. right. Or a, a stretching of, you know, the gonads with hands. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> it was a stretch, right? Am I Q interstitial. Okay. <laughs> All right. So at the end of every single episode, we like to recap with some questions that we pull from Instagram, uh, comments from the previous video. Uh, sometimes you guys mail us some awesome questions at toypizzamail at gmail.com. Um, so we would like to highlight a couple of you uh, on this week's episode. Please, leave us some questions. What do you know for, want to know from us? Ask us anything. Yep. The beard's coming in nicely. Thank you. <laughs> My mom left a comment. Oh, right. Okay, right. great. Um, so this week we've got some really cool people. I mean, every week we have really cool people, but this uh, week in particular, this week in particular, yeah. very cool. So T Dukes wants to know which horror movie would you want to be murdered in? That's pretty cool. That's Halloween a, themed, right? It's a good question. Today's Halloween. No, it happened last week. Oh, today's not Halloween. Nope. 
We did the horror movie. I feel like every episode I'm just like, today's Halloween. <laughs> every episode is Halloween. <laughs> for, at least and for us. a personal hell. Oh, well, Halloween was on fun. Does anyone want to go first? I do. May I? Go, right go ahead. ahead. All right. Now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to be murdered in a Gaspar No film. Now, he's not a traditional horror director. No. He makes uh, weird German, no, sorry, French mm. movies that are an assault on the senses. They are about the underbelly inside of all of us. You can watch his films Irreversible or Enter the Void. They will twist your psyche far worse than uh, any Jason uh, Kruger or Freddy Voorhees. Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, uh, how would you die? Um, it would probably be a very graphic evisceration in a slow-moving camera that's rotating above the operating table. <laughs> okay. While uh, <laughs> Rammstein plays. <laughs> and uh, lights flickering? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, if I had to pick, uh, I would would like to be murdered in uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street film because right. the context of being killed is usually in your dream. Yes. And anything can happen and it's very uh -huh. imaginative. Yeah. And I like that. But if not that... That's my answer. That was my answer. That was your answer? Yes. Okay. Well, then I'm going to throw this one for Cade. If not in a dream and still like you know very imaginative, mm -hmm. why not a Saw movie? That's no, horrible. Why would you want that? Are you crazy? You I'm have like... the option of being alive. That's first so of all. terrible. I want to die in a Nicholas Sparks movie, just of like <laughs> old age peacefully in my sleep. Yeah, for Jesus. sure. Why would you want to die in a Saw movie? I'm just saying for creativity, like on no. screen, like you guys want to be like, oh, like dude, that's sick. How do they manage uh, to do that? The only way you can survive is by jumping into a pit of needles and getting the key. Like, that's terrible. The only way you can survive is by getting 9,000 signatures and the question to ban this freaking bad toy. <laughs> Let, let's no. play a game called Do the Dishes. And also, it says want to be murdered in. Okay, yeah. so that's Murder. pretty brutal. All right, then, you know, why don't I just say Wizard of Oz? Jesus. A uh, house <laughs> lands on you. I okay. would say... <laughs> or a and then, and then my shoes go whoop, and curl back underneath into the house. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I was gonna say Freddy Krueger because you're, you know, sleeping. But if not, maybe Jason. Quick and easy. Just mm. it would be chop yeah. my head off real fast in a sleeping bag against a tree. <laughs> yes, <laughs> great. That's okay. the best death. Uh, maybe I'll just die a slow death from diabetes because the sugar lobbyists are poisoning all of us. Mm. Is this a movie? Was that real life? Moving on. <laughs> Question two. <laughs> Question number two. Um, Fifty-seven minutes ago, William Cardone asks. What is your favorite toy vehicle? Super easy question for me to say. Turtle van. Was that really 57 minutes ago? That's what it said. <laughs> okay, well, that, the screen cap was. <laughs> screen it had cap. been 15, 7. I had to think about it for 57 minutes if this was worthy. Yeah, Ninja Turtle is. van is an easy one for me. I mean, whenever I got that thing, I was so excited. You could put your stickers on it. You could lift the whole lid, which is so amazing. Mm -hmm. You could have the turtle flip out the side mm -hmm. so you could shoot. It came with those big, like, mm -hmm. unnecessary nuclear bomb things. Mm -hmm. It just was really cool, and the guns and the the grin, it's awesome. It's a good. It's the best good vehicle. Mm. What are you guys gonna say? It's a good pick. Well, uh, Gaspar No, who is a French experimental. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say is that we just uh, recently uh, finished uh, on Instagram. Not we actually, but people were participating in Vehicle Veek. Uh, exactly how it's spelled: V E H I C L E V E E K. And basically, uh, you can post your photos of your favorite toy vehicles. Uh -huh. So I'll check out the hashtag and see a couple of them. But if I had to pick, it would probably be something from Star Wars okay. or the original Batman Batmobile, the blue one that had the nice. orange like dome. Sure. That was great. Oh, but superpowers. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, superpowers. Yeah. Okay. That one's great, but if I had to pick something from Star Wars, Millennium Falcon. It had sure, sound yeah. bites. Mm. It was big. People fit in the cockpit. You can open up the top and people can hide in the floorboards. Did boards. you? I, I ripped out the cardboard insert to make more room for figures in there. Oh, oh that's funny. That's but then they, they would get stuck in there and it'd just you be rattling. Yeah. Isn't that expensive, though? Like the whole thing? Not in my family because we only had tag sale secondhand goods. Wow. Oh. So it was, uh, <laughs> this is what we said. Uh, mine would be. The Resaurus Speed Racer Mach 5, which mm. was later re released by Toynami. It is huge, it's awesome. Um, Resaurus, uh, the guys that ran Resaurus and went off to start Plan B Toys are very close friends. Uh, and now they actually handle all the marketing for express stores, oddly enough. Really? Yeah, they were toy designers. That's they really they went off and had this whole other yeah. career. And I always see them posting photos from like, photo shoots on the beach with supermodels or in the middle of Times Square. And uh, that's a definite upgrade from being stuck in China overseeing the uh, assembly line. 
You know, follow your dreams, guys. <laughs> That's right. It leads to supermodels and beach shoots. Ah, uh, yeah. So you don't own that, though? Uh, I have it somewhere. It is uh, not in great shape these days. Um, but uh, you're seeing some lovely pictures on screen. Did you have the turtle van? I didn't have the turtle van. But you uh, had the Falcon. I had a, a second-hand Falcon. Well, for those of you uh, interested in getting uh, the turtle van, the classic one, they just retro sure. it. yeah. And uh, you can find that in Toys R Us. I have nowhere to keep it, so, yeah. mm. unfortunately. Great question. Yeah, yeah. William Cord Cardone. Awesome, thank you. Um, Alatore84. Alatore. Alatore84. Um, what was your favorite toy you had as a kid that you either broke or lost but we're gonna say broke yeah okay. lost we've uh, done loosely yeah. here and there but, but we're gonna do it. what is your favorite toy you had as a kid that you broke now i don't remember anything that i broke as a kid i know there's something but most recent toy that i broke was my freaking luigi blind mm. bag connects i'm so mad and i mario help me listen i'm not gonna buy any more of these because um i'm i'm so mad that it broke because but, he it, lego doesn't break like this yeah, Ooh, Lego. Okay. That was a low blow. Come on, well, man. First of all, you shouldn't be worried. You didn't pay for it. I bought it. It didn't and it, matter. It just so happened to be Luigi, care. and I'm like, ah, why Luigi? Out of all the We were going for figures. Bowser Jr. Guys, yeah. look, the good news is, I'm sure Connects watched this program. I'm sure they're going to send you a replacement. I and hope then so. You can issue a public apology next issue. I will. <laughs> I Honestly, I really, really enjoyed this. It was sat at my desk. He was very happy. But now he's so unbalanced that he can't do anything. And I was so, like, upset that it broke. And, like, the fact that it doesn't just go... Okay, whatever. I'm just mad. You know, we really got to stop shooting next to the animal slaughterhouse because there's so much ambient noise next door. Yeah. It's driving me crazy. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so I w it wasn't a kid when I broke this. It was last week, actually. Um, but, you know. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, what broke for you? Okay, Besides so, your heart. Yes. No, as a, as a kid, just, like, literally, uh, I just remember a lot of Ninja Turtles and... Uh, Toy Biz mm -hmm. X-Men breaking. I remember really? specifically a Forge figure. Yeah. Uh, he, his leg broke off, and I was just like, man. And I was really upset about that because, like, I would just, like, you know. Was it the, the clear leg with the paper insert? Yes, I believe so. And then you know, mm -hmm. I just tried to tape it together, and just, like, I was like, you know, as a kid, duct tape, that no, doesn't work. Sure. And, uh, Note to self, yeah. shoot some B-roll of Forge. Yes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a bummer. I, I vividly remember... Uh, finding Black Star, which was kind of a He-Man ripoff. Okay. Mm. Uh, but he had a, a clear chest, and you could press the button, and it would spark a little bit. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. And we were coming home in the uh, moving van that passed as the family car, okay. and uh, his legs broke. The rubber band that held his legs together broke. Uh. Five minutes out of the package, and I showed my mom, and I I think this was clever. Uh, you know, a clever tactic on her part. She's like, don't let your dad see. So I didn't say anything about it. We didn't turn around and get a new one, and I just had a broken Black Star figure, which I still have to this day. Aww. And you know what? The tide will come, my friend. <laughs> well, on top of that, I, I was going to say that, um, oh, what was it? That the Forge or the He-Man? Oh, your Gray Fox. Mm -hmm. Gray Fox. Uh, he broke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he broke on the episode. Yeah, that's right. So that, that not as a kid, but you know. So. Well, I'm a kid at heart. Yeah, always. Yeah, I mean, I obviously we've all broken toys. It's just hard to remember. Um, Have you ever fixed a broken toy like successfully? Me? Have no, you ever definitely. broken a tooth? Never. Yes, actually, I have. I have. Oh, this guy and it was it. a big deal. Yeah. I did. I broke a tooth on a salad. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's weird. Very weird. Uh, I have you only broken any bones? I uh, I've never yes. never broken a single bone. Yes, I broke a bone. Pinky toe. I That's broke it. my wrist. I was jumping off a trampoline and slam dunking basketball, and then I fell off the. End. Well, how'd you but you got it in though. How'd you break your tooth? I don't remember <laughs> what happened. It was here in the uh, office. You were uh, jumping off a trampoline. No, it's not the same thing. <laughs> same exact no, I think I had like chipped it really bad, and then yeah. I was eating like a burrito or something. Then I realized part of it. A tooth burrito fell out, and I'm just like, what <laughs> it's like, oh, there's teeth in here. Um, so you know, those are our Q and As. We eat bones. Yeah, I mean, yeah, broken stuff, right? Let us yeah. know uh, if you've broken anything. You have a lot of homework to do. We've told you to let us know a lot of things. Yeah, so. controversial toys. Let us know your favorite vehicle toy. Mm -hmm. Let us know what toys you've broken. 
And uh, and please tell us what's the matter. Why are you being so weird at nighttime? Yeah, and I don't get it. Why weren't Why aren't you texting back? So, yeah, very odd. Like you have your red receipts on, and we sent you like a bunch of emojis, but right. you know, it's like. And have you ever gone on Instagram and you see a girl that you used to date, and now she's, she's married? A dog. She's married, and she has a kid that looks like a goat. <laughs> yeah, I remember you telling yeah, me about that's that. That's happened, right? That's happened. But like a literal goat with the sideways pupils and the, and. You know, a it's, bell and it, horns. It's like a video, yeah. and you, just, you actually hear the audio. And yeah. It's like, eh. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. And Instagram's weird. So weird. Yeah. Well, Pizza yeah. out! Oh, no. <laughs> Not just yet. Okay. All right, so right, let's take it from the top, I guess. No, no. No, okay, we're going to say... No, keep uh, going. Pizza out! Oh, wait, we're still doing that? Oh. No, no, no. Uh, well, the, we the, won't. We're we... an end card now. Yeah. 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 This All is right. end card. Too. Pizza, Pizza out! Oh, oh no, dang, you got me. Just, uh... Pizza out. Yeah. All right, see you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Pizza out! Follow us on Instagram. Check out our Tumblr for all images that we talked about. Um, if you're listening on iTunes, because that's where we are. Where we yeah. are now. Yeah, we're number sixty fifth in. Shut up. In television and entertainment. Are we really? Is yeah. that true? That's what the thing said. The report. What? What, what, what report? I'm not getting this. Yeah, it's where in the it? the bad it's, teeth. It's in the bad teeth. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, wait, is that true? Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. Okay, I number know. sixty-five. If you guys don't mind, please With a bullet. go to iTunes. Um, even if you don't listen to the iTunes version, you watch us on YouTube. Please yeah. leave us a review. It'd be really helpful. Um, give sure. us five stars, all that sort of stuff. Um, we want to climb up the rankings, right? Okay, so now officially we can. Pizza stay. out. Pizza out. Pizza out. Pizza out. Pizza out. Bye.